Hello everyone, Dark Humility here, and welcome to Hardcore Season 9, Slam Session number 2. We don't just have our own finds in this one, we actually have a combination of our own finds, plus a lot of finds, also given to us by a viewer, Mr. Denda, who gave us some stuff as well. But this time we got plenty and plenty of high stakes slams. Um, of course, by now you guys should know how slamming works. You put the item in the box. You use these shard things. And something unpredictable happens to it. Based on various odds. Sometimes it gets destroyed. Like always, not all the items will make it. Your discretion is advised some of them will not make it out alive most of them will get some kind of mediocre corruption and others will ascend to the heights of gods hopefully that doesn't always happen but most of the time I'd say we at least get a couple and now it's time for the brickering the bricking box who will survive the bricking box? I don't know. Anyway, let's mouse over the items real quick so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. These here are all my own finds today. Definitely got a pretty solid uh, repertoire of finds here. It's always good to slam those FCR rings. This one is definitely the guest star though. The uh, From my Blood Moon map, because I only ran one of them today. We got a Ming Song's Lesson. You don't even know what it would roll, but it's not really important until you slam it anyway. So we're going to slam it unidentified. Of course, we got Leorix, you know, F War Strike. You got a Rack. So some of these items actually were not found by me. I didn't find the Iraq and the Shaco here. These were donated. Uh, we did find, of course, the Ming Songs and the Dragon Scale and the Steel Rend. And we also found that. Um, you found almost everything. Now, these, some of these are the donated items at this point up here. Oh, these are... So these are pretty cool. Someone definitely has some uh, Death Wish for some of their items there. But um, that's just how this goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I should probably take off the Farm Info Panel thing before we actually slam. That might be good. Alright. So as you can see, uh, some of these I found down here as well. Alright. Including the Soul Drainers. So you have some pretty cool things here. But. We'll do the uh, main songs in the middle this time. Sometimes we do the very best item at the end. But um, save the best for last. This time though. It's just going to be another item getting slammed. See what happens to it. Alright. Here we go. Hopefully everyone's ready. Speed slam session number two. Let's get it. Alright. Alders, baby. Three mana per kill. Hey, that's not bad. Mana per kill is always welcome. Oof, the lacerator goes down. Lacerator got lacerated. Stalker's Coal gets enhanced damage, though. That's pretty good the war cry amulet is no more two sockets on a jalal's mane not terrible oh but the alders armor lots of bricks already the bricks are coming in strong 43 light res on an fcr ami physical damage reduction on razor tail okay not bad actually uh two sockets on the tal's armor also not bad Warlord's Trust does not get five sockets for that beautiful Fury build. It's garbage. Guardian Angel survives with a very mediocre slam. Two sockets on the Nat's Claw. Getting some nice socket corruptions coming in. PDR in addition to MDR on a Scolder is interesting. It's like a... Cannot be frozen on the Tring armor. I guess if you don't go full Tring, that's good, but otherwise it's redundant. Block rate on an Alders, that's not bad. Okay, those with FCR. Yeah, that's pretty useless. And some undead damage. Not amazing. 
Gonna get some brickage action on that one. Yikes. Poison res OP. And it's it. Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, it survived with lightning pierce. Hey. Hey, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Negative 21 lightning pierce. That's not bad at all. And it didn't look like it had a lot of lightning pierce to begin with, but now it's over 20. The Iraq survives with fire res. Ooh, water walks getting replenished mana. Oof. Damn. Not my stupid dragon. Oh, ho, ho. hey. That's really good. Attack speed on steel rends. That's a really good corruption. Very nice. Laying of hands. Not bad. Oh, the Shaco. Takes a dive into Bricktown. Replenish life on the Quetzalcoatl. Not bad. Okay, one of the Outer's boots actually bricks. Interesting. Uh, what is this? Curse resistance? Curse resistance, okay. One socket on the Haws. Hmm. Guess it's still a Haws. Curse resistance on the Steel Shade as well. Those are some uncommon corruptions there. Two sockets on the Horizons. Ooh, Dark Force Spawn is now a Rune Tower. I don't know why they call that a Rune Tower. MF on the Veil of Steel, okay. Hmm, all resistance is on the Leviathan. Pretty nice. Lightning Res on the Viper Magi. Fire Res on the Grizz Armor. And the Templars. Oh no, not the Templars. It's now a corpse. Corpse wrap to be specific. Yikes. Dej. Block Ray on a Tabex. Hey, that's... That's not bad. Ooh, Steel Shade also goes down. The Shard does not like those plus two helms today. Mm -mm. Hands damage. War traps are block rate, okay? Lots of block rate coming in for sure. Light resistance on Alder's booties. Deadly strike on Soul Drainers. Oh, that's insane too. The gloves getting really good corruptions. Both of the gloves I found, really nice corruptions. Um, FHR on the Goblin Toes, and that, I think, will do it. Holy moly. How many items did we slam about? About 50, I would say, like normal. Damn. That's, uh, some pretty good corruptions. Even the Ming Songs didn't get something totally useless. As a matter of fact, if you can get four sockets on a puzzle box on that, that's pretty solid. I don't think anyone would complain, and also, uh, Lightning is definitely the most popular this season, so... Not bad to get that one up and running. Alright, so... Let's talk about the aftermath here. So, the biggest destructions were Dark Force spawn. It's now a Rune Tower. Shaco is a Raven Circlet, ouch. Raven Cow. Seems like the crows are... Crows are circling the items. They're dead. Steel Shade's dead too. Unfortunately. Dragon Scale is very rare. We found this. It bricked. Unfortunately, I kind of wanted to see if we could use that Leorix, but I think the Leorix bricked. Um, yeah, that's no good. Alright. Leorix is. Leorix is in the toaster land. That's not Afternoon. good. Lots of gold, though, can be acquired by selling the bricks. Yeah, that's not good. No ED either. Dragon skill died. The Tabex got poison res. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Alder's armor got bricked. Lacerator got bricked. One of the Alders... I'd say the biggest brick for sure was the Templars, though. This is one of the reasons why I typically don't corrupt these... <laughs> As you can see, the uh, the plus eight I had before would have also bricked, but you know, 
There's not really much of a point of corrupting those. Typically, I just puzzle box them. But there you go. It's bricked. So, there's that. Damn, damn, and damn. Okay. I'd say our best corruptions... Ming Song Lesson? Honestly, I'd say that's one of the best ones. That's pretty good. Um, obviously, it'd be cooler if it had even higher above 20, but 20 is maximum under normal conditions, so that's not bad. Um, the Steel Ren getting increased attack speed. Also really insane. Soul Drainers getting Deadly Strike. Also really good. Um, let's see, what, what, what are some of the other, like, really good corruptions here? Uh, 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 we got some two socket corruptions. Oh yeah, attack speed ED on Stalker's Cole. That's actually not bad. That's really good. That's a good corruption there. Um, got some other decent ones. Some two socket corruptions, you know. The Iraq survived, so there's a, another pretty high fo profile item surviving. Um, yeah, two sockets and the towel rushes. Yeah, you know, mana for kill on one of the elders' booths. That's not terrible. But yeah, there you go. There you go. There's speed slam session number two. Like I always say in the beginning, some elevate to god status, which some definitely did. Particularly the gloves, I would say, um, really elevated to that god status. And then of course. A lot of them brick and most achieve mediocrity. See you guys in the third one. And uh, obviously you can see now that the uh, the Inferno Sork is pretty decked out. Check out our mapping video with her and you can see just how strong this build truly is. She's a beast. But yeah. See you guys in the next one. OP OP. Crush it.